hi guys welcome back to another vlog this is another disney vlog this is a pack with me video so i'm about to pack up my stuff for disney world we leave in about three or four days i can't keep up i'm so excited um so i'm about to start and show you guys what i have packed for each day we're gonna be there seven days six nights in walt disney world <music> All right guys, so I'm gonna start packing. I'm gonna show you guys each outfit for each day, including arrival day. Um, I'm not gonna show you the outfit I have for go home day because I still don't know what I wanna go home in. So, um, but like I said, we leave on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Um, so we leave in about three or four days. Um, and we are now starting to pack. So. This video is not going to include my husband's packing stuff. I'll have him do a separate video if he's interested in sharing with you guys what he's going to pack for Disney World. It's probably just going to be something basic. You know, guys, they don't really, some guys don't like get into the imagination of Disney World. But um, me, I have like a thing for every day. So I'm going to share that with you guys. Um... So we are driving, so we're packing all of our stuff in one suitcase. Um, I'm going to have a separate bag for like snacks and stuff that we're taking. We're taking a case of water, a case of 24, I think, from Walmart, um, the Nestle brand. We're taking that water with us just so we can put it in our park bag. And I'll show you guys a few things that I'm going to take in my park bag, um, but I still haven't like got a set list of things i'm gonna take just yet so um that might be a separate video that i do for you guys probably like the day we get there or something like that and i'm packing my bag so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get started so here is my arrival day outfit so when we leave we're gonna leave eight and a half hour drive but we're gonna leave at maybe like two o'clock in the morning because we have a reservation with splitsville at 1 30 and warren wanted to get to Orlando a little bit sooner than check-in time, which is four o'clock because of traffic and other things. Um, he drives on the road for a living, so he kind of knows when traffic is good and when traffic is bad. And he suggested that it's better for us to leave in the morning rather than, because originally we were gonna leave at 6 a.m. Um, but with you know him thinking about the morning traffic um of people getting back home from christmas and then maybe people going back to work it he thought it would be too congested so we're gonna leave at 2 a.m um and make our way down there um monday is a busy day i plan to film that you know that day for you guys to see what we do the day before it is you know all those finishing touches we have to make but when we leave at 2 a.m i will have this outfit on so i looked at the weather and i will show the weather forecast for each day so you guys can see like based on the weather this is what i'm wearing um uh, for each day that i'm going to be in disney world um when we leave on monday tuesday morning at 2 a.m it's going to be about 20 degrees somewhere in that area so i've had i'm not trying to take a coat Okay, I don't want to take a coat to Disney World. I just feel like that's too much. So I'm packing mostly sweatshirts, hoodies, jean jackets, like something that's tough and built, you know, that's going to like secure me. So to start off for my arrival day, I'm wearing this white t-shirt as an undershirt. And this came from JCPenney years ago. I probably had this ever since I was a teenager. Um then i'm wearing this shirt so we got this from etsy and if i can find the link i'll link it below it's a little wrinkled <laughs> i haven't worn it in a while but it says um established mrs 528 2022 so me and warren he has a shirt that says mr we're gonna wear these we wore these on our honeymoon we're gonna wear these on arrival day um and we don't have much to do on arrival day splitsville we have an edison reservation that i might end up canceling you know just disney springs um so we're gonna wear this and 
And then we also have matching hoodies that my brother-in-law got us. His says king. Of course, mine says queen. And it has queen on the sides. If you guys are interested, um, I can provide a link down below as well. And then I'm wearing these blue jeans from Walmart. Um, these are the Nobo high rise skinny jeans. So I'm just going to wear these. They're pretty comfortable in their skinny jeans. So I love good skinny jeans, honey. Love it. Okay, so that is my arrival day outfit. Now when we go to sleep, I have this that I got from Shein when I got married and I wanted to like be festive with my bridesmaids. I got these and they have like some blush ones. But I got these silk pajamas from Shein. And I would try to link that down below as well. If you guys are interested. But those are my pajamas. And then on to the next day. So the, the day after arrival day, we're going to Animal Kingdom. So I have my Animal Kingdom ears that I'm going to wear. Okay. Then we have black jeans with the cutout. And it's I think it's gonna be like 67 degrees that day. So again, I'll just post the weather forecast here for each day that I'm showing you my outfit. So you will know like, okay, this is what she wore with this kind of weather. But black jeans red undershirt and the reason i'm wearing an undershirt is because it's going to be re really cold in the mornings like 50s in the mornings and i don't want to put on a coat or a jacket at all i just want to wear my sweatshirt and my jeans and that's it like that's all i want to wear so i'm wearing this as an undershirt just to protect me from any cool air that i may feel in the morning time and then i have this sweatshirt and it's Mickey Mouse. And I got this from Belk. Let me see. Did I get it from Belk? Yes, I got it from Belk. It was originally $42, but I got it on sale for Black Friday for like $14.99. So if you're in the market to get like stuff for Disney World for your kids or even for yourself, this is women's or juniors. So look at women's or junior section. And they will have doorbusters related to Disney during, you know, Black Friday. So I highly suggest that a $42 sweatshirt for $14.99. And also I want to point out if I did get hot with this on, I could just take this off and I still have on a shirt. And this is not, you know, even if it gets warmer, like really warm later, this long sleeve shirt is not a thick long sleeve shirt. It's just a t-shirt. So, um, I should be fine, like, if I, if it got too warm and I decided I want to take this off. And then my ears still match with my shirt. That is Animal Kingdom Day. Next up is Epcot. Let me take off my Animal Kingdom ears. Next we have Epcot. These are my Epcot ears. Right here. And I am wearing some joggers this day. I have a matching jacket to this. I just don't know where it is. And it, it's, it's bothering me. I hope I can find it before we leave. But if not, it's totally fine. Uh, but these are some Adidas joggers. Okay. And I'm going to wear these when we go to Epcot. Because I just want to be loose since we're like traveling around the world not that i don't want to be loose in any other park but it's just you know i'm trying to get my outfit game right <laughs> um these another t-shirt uh this one is from walmart um and it's just a white and t-shirt that i can put under my short sleeve shirt which is a bedazzled mickey isn't that so cute Yes, so I can't remember where I got this from. I think I got this from Disney Springs. I think. Um, because 
we did go to yeah we did go to disney springs for our honeymoon back in may so i think i got this in, in disney springs when i got my mini backpack that i use for gino <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna wear that to epcot and then along with that just in case you know like it's chilly in the morning look at the forecast I have this as well. So this is a um, pearl blue jean jacket that I will wear with that outfit. And that should be able to keep me warm just in case that it's cool. And also in the case that I do not find the matching jacket to those joggers uh, because they do have a matching jacket. All right, that is my Epcot outfit. Next up is my Hollywood Studios outfit. So I have some green ears for this outfit. So for pants, I'm going to rewear. Don't judge. Rewear um, my black jeans from Animal Kingdom. So I'm going to rewear re these with this particular outfit for hollywood studios i have my undershirt my thin long sleeves undershirt this one is from also walmart faded glory long sleeves undershirt very thin and then this is from target i got this from target and i'll link it below it was i think 9.99 or 14.99 None of my sweatshirts were over $15. Like, I refuse, you know? Like, I wanted to be, I wanted something that, that was Mickey because I didn't have a lot of Mickey stuff, but I didn't spend a lot of money just to say, oh, I'm wearing Mickey for one day, you know what I'm saying? Because I may wear these again, but let's just be honest, I ain't gonna wear them on a daily basis, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna wear them, like, probably even on a weekly basis, you know? It's just gonna be like a spontaneous type of outfit. So, but anyway, um got this from target it's kind of short and if you read the reviews on the website it's kind of short like it doesn't come down maybe like over your waist area if that makes sense or like you know where your belt normally is it doesn't come over your belt it kind of just like sits there kind of like a crop top but i guess it depends on your frame on whether it's like gonna be truly a crop top on you or not but it's not a crop top for me it's just short um but yes so this is my outfit for my sweatshirt for um, Hollywood Studios. So on to the next outfit and the next park, which is Magic Kingdom. So I am a huge Winnie the Pooh fan. Let me just say, I am wearing these skinny jeans from Walmart. These are no boundaries skinny jeans from Walmart they're very comfortable and I'm gonna wear those to Magic Kingdom next we have my now I may not wear this because look at the weather like it's gonna be a little bit warmer than it than the other days so I might wear this and I might not but this is the on the shirt for the sweatshirt this is JCPenney this is the Anna, a new approach brand. So I'm gonna wear that. And then, oh, I forgot to put on my Magic Kingdom ears. These are my Winnie the Pooh ears. So excited. We eat with Winnie the Pooh and friends in Crystal Palace at Magic Kingdom. <sighs> Can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay. This is my Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt that I got from Belk. So cute. Look at that. So nice. I love it. Um, so yes, it has all his friends on here. So I'm gonna wear this. The yellows don't quite match, but you get the point. Um <laughs> now I'm gonna wear this to Magic King. Let's see. Again, regular $42. Okay, and I only spent $14.99. Only $14.99, people. 
for this sweatshirt at Black Friday from Belk. Praise him, okay? So I'm wearing that to Magic Kingdom. And our break day, because I know everybody's like, well, when do y'all relax? Like on our break day, which is the day after Magic Kingdom and the day before we go home, I am wearing this because we're probably gonna like explore Orlando a little bit. So I'm wearing this with my Epcot ears and it's supposed to be a little warm on that day as well. So I don't think I'm gonna wear probably, I don't know, something for a jacket. I think I have a um, cardigan that I can wear or I could probably put my uh, hoodie on over this or something. But this is what I'm gonna wear on January 1st because we're gonna be there the week of New Year. So, um, wear this on January 1st for us to explore Orlando or do whatever we're gonna do that day. Um, now our resort, we're not staying on property, but our resort does have, and here are the jeans, I'm so sorry. These are my favorite jeans, Crown Ivy. Wearing these, these came from, I wanna say they came from Belk. I wanna say so bad, either Belk or Macy's they came from. But these are my favorite jeans, I love Crown Ivy best chain maker in my opinion um so this is my january 1st outfit now back to the resort we're not staying on property we're staying um at this place like near it's like five minutes from disney springs and i'll share and give a tour of the room once um we come back from our trip and let you know how it was give you a really thorough review of our whole entire stay like i said we're gonna be there seven days six nights so i'll let you know whether it's a good hotel or not it was fairly fairly budget friendly okay to be five minutes from disney springs for a week um compared to every other hotel near disney springs and near you know disney property um so i think we got a really great deal for a week especially the week of new year's eve i mean come on now um but I'll give a thorough review once we get back and I experience everything and let you guys know whether that's a good hotel to stay at or not. Um, but the hotel we're staying at, they do have a pool. They have an indoor pool and an outdoor pool. So I'm bringing this. This is a brand new swimsuit that I got maybe three years ago. Yeah, three, four years ago and I never wore it. You see, it still got the tag on it. It was $30. So I am going to wear this, finally. Uh, I don't even know if I can fit it. I'm probably gonna try it on before I, we really pack everything to make sure that I can fit it and that I can take it. But um, yes, toiletries, real quick. Um, this is just an extra, not a toiletry, of course. This is just an extra um, little sweatshirt thing that i'm taking it go it goes with none of my outfits but we'll see so of course we have to pack underwear i'm taking like i always take over so i'm taking like 10 pairs of underwear for no reason but i always take over baby whites for various reasons you don't have to get into that i i think every person man boy girl one should take baby wipes anytime they travel um makeup bag i'm not doing extensive makeup i'm only gonna do like powder and stuff the only day that i might throw on a whole bunch of makeup would be when we go to magic kingdom because we're going on new year's eve and we're gonna be in there all day and you know my makeup will last my makeup will last pretty much all day and you know that would be the only reason why i would put on lashes and do all this other crap um but for the most part i'm either gonna be looking like this no makeup or i'm gonna have on like powder and maybe a little mascara or something like that um so makeup bag then i have my skincare routine stuff so this is clinique all about clean liquid facial soap extra mild and then this is Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I take this everywhere I go and I use it while I'm there, wherever I am. Um, I have the Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant. Yes, I do bring the whole thing. I do not bring the travel size, especially not if I'm doing a road trip. Like if I did travel size for, like if I was getting on a plane, then yeah, I would probably do travel size. It probably won't be this, but it, you know, I'll do travel size. Um, I don't even think they make that in travel size. Um, this is deodorant. So I use Suave Basic 
deodorant. Um, I don't plan on getting my hair wet, but in the case that I do, I brought shampoo and conditioner. This is what I use when I do not go to my hairstylist in the shop. It's the ORS uh, Creamy Alloy <laughs> Shampoo and the Replenishing Conditioner. So I just brought this just in case my hair does get wet and I need to wash my hair. Um, so I did get the travel size. I keep these because my dentist gives me these every time I go to get my teeth clean. This is the Crest Pro Health Gum Detoxify Deep Clean Toothpaste. I got two of these just in case Warren wanted to use it. He's a more of an arm and hammer type of guy, but I just brought it just in case. Uh, he's probably going to bring his own arm and hammer toothbrush, uh, toothpaste. I bought this. We both use this. Warren uses it less often than I do. Um, he likes other Dove products, but I have to use this because my skin is so sensitive. I can't use anything with a scent at all or I will break out. So, um, I have the Dove Sensitive Skin Body Wash. Yes, I'm taking the whole thing. I don't do travel size, okay? Um, um, Banana Boat. We probably won't need this. I probably will need this, maybe, on Magic Kingdom Day because it's going to be like 80 degrees. Um, but... We brought sunscreen just in case. That's what we got when we went to our um, honeymoon. Me, personally, I always take a brand new toothbrush every time I go somewhere. My mama taught me this. Um, <laughs> I always take a brand new toothbrush every time I travel. So, brand new toothbrush. Um, I got some of these troll size <laughs> Clorox uh, disinfectant to go wipes just in case we need to wipe something off. If we're somewhere that's this is actually probably gonna go in my park bag to be honest um this will go in my park bag as well the first aid kit i got this when we first moved in the house because i feel like we're in a new house we should have a first aid kit and i have not even used it i've been looking for it like it's been times where one may have cut itself or i may have cut myself and then i'm like oh we don't even have a first aid kit and then i found this rambling through my bathroom closet okay this is confirmation for our hotel okay i'm not gonna totally depend on my phone i even thought about printing our park tickets because i'm just i love technology i use technology i rely on technology but i would say i rely 100 percent on technology especially when i'm going out of the state and it's just me and my husband like this is my real like I've traveled before, but only with my family. Like, I've never traveled with anyone else. Like, me traveling with my husband is one of the few times that I've traveled outside of traveling with my family. So, it's like, I got to make sure that I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I have to make sure. So, this is our hotel confirmation printed out. Um, this is a cooler bag. I didn't know if we wanted to stop at Walmart and make a lunch instead of eating lunch in the parks. We've talked about it. That's a no-go for right now, as of right now. But just in case, I brought this cooler bag, this expensive cooler bag that we bought from Walgreens when we went to, or uh, not Orlando, when we went to Tampa in May. So that's all that I have packed right now. I have a celebration bag. I have one of these that I got when we went to Disney Springs back in May. Then I'm going to pack with um snacks and other things because i don't want to pack all that stuff in my park bag just yet because i still have to carry it around i'm gonna pack snacks and different things in here so i can we can carry it and then i can just pack my park bag as we go to the parks so please let me know if you have any questions that is all that i'm packing for disney world i'm not packing anything else um, if I have anything that I'm missing, oh, well, yes, I am. I'm packing ponchos. They're already in my park bag because I did not want to leave them. Um, I thought about ponchos and a small umbrella. I don't know. There's not a chance for rain. Not really. I know Orlando weather is more, Florida weather period, is more predictable, unpredictable than Alabama weather. So, um, I'm not sure whether I should pack both or not. Let me know down in the comments if I should. This video will post before we leave. So let me know if you think I should pack a pon ponchos and umbrella. Because right now I just have ponchos. I have like eight ponchos in my bag. Um, even though it's just the two of us. Because, you know, we go to different parks different days. And I don't know if we're going to have to break around. 
blah 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 yeah, so let me know down below what you think of this packing video let me know if i'm missing something um i'm gonna start going ahead and packing my stuff um but uh warren hasn't figured out what he's gonna wear yet so if he decides he wants to include his packing <laughs> um to share with you guys then i will be sure to film a video of him packing his stuff for uh disney world but as of right now it's just me <laughs> so um i'm going to go ahead and start packing my stuff he can add his stuff a little later and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe like and comment and i'll see you guys in the next disney vlog